Hi, my name is Guillermo Gomez. I coach youth soccer. And you know, one of the questions that parents always ask me is, how do you buy a soccer ball? Well, my answer to them is always to go by what the league requirements are. So that depends what age category you're, the player is going to be at. Normally, balls come in three sizes. You have five, four, and three. Size three, and it's always shown on the ball, so in case uh, you want to find out how the ball is, the size of the ball is shown on the ball, it's actually, we can see right here, it's just number three. It's normally for, player for, for players eight years or younger. So the younger the player, the smaller the ball is. Then we move to the next category, which is a size four, and that normally is for players about eight to 12, might be eight or eight through 11. And then we move to the size five, which is for 12 years and older, including adults, um, for adult playing as well. So once you determine the size, then you gotta decide uh, how serious are you about the game? Because uh, soccer balls can be a little expensive. If you're in youth soccer, my recommendation is to actually just uh, get a practice or training ball. And again, I can describe that a little bit in three categories. Just you have professional match balls, which are the balls that uh, they use in international tournaments, such as the World Cup. These balls are very expensive. They meet all the FIFA requirements. And they uh, have the sponsor logo of that international organization uh, on the ball. Then you have the other group of balls, which is the match balls. That's what they use in college or high school. These are very good balls, again, not as expensive as the international soccer balls or the, for the international matches, but they're still to be a little bit expensive. And then we move into the lower end category, which is the recreational or training balls, which is what we have here today. All these three balls are in three different sizes, and they're all uh, for training. Uh, one thing to note is that the quality of the ball doesn't necessarily improve by the price. So sometimes you might be paying just for a logo or because you're buying a ball that uh, has the logo of a soccer team. So that could be, you know, if you're buying a ball that has the logo of a very well-known club, then the price might be a little higher. So normally for youth soccer, I recommend to buy balls that are about in a price range about twenty dollars. You know, you can buy a good training ball that range in the price of fifteen to thirty dollars. I wouldn't spend more than twenty-five actually. You know, as a coach, I go through so many balls. You know, sometimes they get left in the park, or or sometimes it, you know, they, people kick them and we forget to pick them up, and then the next day we go to the park, they're no longer there. So. Uh, you know, so if you're going to go through a lot of balls, my suggestion is just to buy your regular training soccer ball. That's good enough for young players. And just, uh, you know, watch for your, what your coaches are requiring for your player to have. So I hope this helps you. And uh, so good luck buying a soccer ball next time you go.